So I've recently saw the new comedy of 2023, Strays. And before I get into what I think of Strays, I want to give you guys a quick backstory here. So I'm very anti-comedy. Uh, it takes a lot for me to laugh in a film. Um, and I think over the past three, four years, comedy has been on, on a downfall. There hasn't really been, I guess, a comedy that I can hold up as one of the greats. Um, you know, all the comedies, you know, that come out now, you know, they're all the same jokes, just rinse and repeated, just with a different title. And, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, sick of comedy at this point. And so I went into this movie, you know, skeptical at best. The trailers didn't amaze me. Um, but, you know, I went in uh, expecting the worst, but hoping for the best. Uh, because, you know, this film is really about just a dog going on a, a journey to bite his owner's dick off. Like, that's literally what the movie's about. And they're forming an hour and a half runtime around such a basic level story here. So, you know, I wasn't sure how that was going to work. But, as I said, I went in open-minded. Um, I was like, you know, this can either be a really solid comedy film or this can just be a really bad film across the board. And I'm happy to report that Strays is the funniest film of 2023 or I'll go as far as say Strays is the funniest film of the past three, four years. This film had me barely laughing for most of it. And the reason I say most is because some of the humour in the film is very repetitive. Uh, there's a lot of sex jokes, there's a lot of dick jokes, there's a lot of vagina jokes. Your typical, you know, Hollywood humour is in this film. But I think what really separates this film compared to other comedies is the chemistry. And, you know, I'm sure you've already heard this a lot in reviews for the film. But the chemistry between Jamie Foxx and Will Ferrell is electric to watch. When these two are together, you know, that's where some of the best humour of this movie comes out. And just, you know, their banter and their conversations, just, you know, it works so well. It really jumps off screen. These two work magnificently together. Um, yeah, like, I would love to see a sequel just focused on those two alone and just seeing them, you know, on on their, their new lifestyle. Now, I won't get into specifics there, but, you know, a lot of the jokes did work really well uh, in this film. There is one joke that I will point out here. I guess this is a minor spoiler. Uh, they released it online, and I believe it was in the trailer as well. Um, is the mushroom scene. And, you know, that scene, I think it would have hit harder if I didn't see it before I actually watched the movie. If it wasn't in any of the trailers, I think that would have been, you know, one of the best scenes, you know, of the movie. And, you know, I think the, the trailers d does ruin some of the humour in the film. Uh, but then there's also a lot of jokes that are left out that work very well in this film. Um, yeah, I can't really get in, in, into specifics. This is a very hard film to talk about, uh, you know, doing a non-spoiler review. Um, but I think another thing I would like to address here is this is a comedy with a family message. Which, you know, that I'm usually very controversial on because usually a lot of comedies that try to do that, they always end up sucking or the execution is just absolutely terrible. And this is a film that I really liked the family message um, at the end of this film. I think it leaves you with a, with a feel-good, happy feeling. And Strays is also a coming-to-age story because you're seeing the way that the owner treats treats his dog and some of the names that he calls him, which, you know, that is an ongoing joke in the film. And, you know, I would say that's a joke that I actually did get sick of at a point. 
Uh, where was I with this now? I've completely lost my train of thought here. Uh, where was I at? Um, yeah, so, you know, it, it's a coming of age story where, yeah, you're seeing the way, you know, the owner, uh, the owner treats his dog and then halfway through the film, their whole mindset and the, almost like the whole narrative of the film changes where they want to go on this new, on this new lifestyle path. And I think they find out, you know, who they really are. Uh, by the end of the film, and you know, I really liked that aspect to the film as well. Is I like I like how it has the, you know these these different these different layers of like of like a family message, and then it's a coming to age story, um, and you know this film as much as it is a comedy, there's definitely some sad moments in the first act of the film and at the end of the film as well, uh, which. You know, you know, which really, you know, which really hit me. This, okay, I want to specify one thing. This is a film made for dog lovers. Like, if, if you have a dog, you know, you will, you will see the comedic side of this film. Like, all of the jokes refer to what the dog is thinking, you know, on the outside, what they think of these human beings and all that and just you know that I thought was it was just brilliant. Some of the some some of the humor in the first act where they kind of get into that, I love I love all that. All that stuff was phenomenal. Um and you know like there's a few scenes when you know like I, I hate to you know repeat myself here but when you see the way that this dog is treated it's just you know like um you know, like, it, it is animal cruelty. It's animal cruelty 101. And, you know, yeah, so there's a few moments there. Um, and then, yeah, there's... And then it ends off with a nice, you know, with a nice bow tie there, I guess. Uh, at, at the end of the whole family message. Uh, yeah, there's not really much else to say about this film besides go check it out. This film had me laughing quite often and... This was probably the biggest surprise of 2023. This film, this film had nowhere near, this film should never have been as good as what it was. So, you know, to actually say that would not surprise me if this film ends up on my top 10 best of the year because, you know, this year has been filled with some, you know, some pretty big stinkers. So, you know, it would not surprise me if this film does end up on my top 10 best. Uh, so yeah, go check out Strays, the highly, Highly recommend it. Even if you're, you know, you're not a fan of comedies, I would say, you know, that there's a bit of everything in here for everyone. But, you know, I would, I would also just say, you know, just be skeptical. Know who you are. Know what you look for in a comedy. And I think, you know, I think you'll have a good time. This film is very self-aware at what it is, and it has fun with what it's presenting to you. Um, and you know, like, there's a really good joke. With a dog, I, uh, with a dog, I cannot speak, with a dog that's kind of narrating inside his head. And, you know, that I thought was brilliant. There's a joke. I guess there was some dark humor uh, at this amusement park, you know, that I fucking loved. I loved it. And, you know, and I know because my sense of humor is a bit darker than others, but, you know, I really enjoyed, you know, that joke that they landed there. So... Yeah, no, just yeah, go check it out. You know, it's a fun time with the family. It's a fun time with friends. It's a fun time drunk. You know, however you want to watch this fucking movie, just go go out and check out Strays. All right, I'll catch you guys later.